A couple of weeks ago, I made a video about the shortfalls of modern day smart devices and some struggles you may run into as a new user trying to understand the landscape. I'll leave a link to that video below. One thing we briefly took a look at was HomeKit, Apple's smart home ecosystem. Today, we'll take an in-depth look at what HomeKit is, how it works, and the benefits of integrating your smart devices into the Apple ecosystem. Before getting into the video, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we release a new video. I'm sure you've met Amazon's Alexa and know of Google's Assistant. Well, here's a quick summary of how smart devices work on those platforms. You buy a smart home device like a TP-Link smart plug. You download the corresponding app, in this case, CASA. Create or sign in to your account and follow the configuration wizard. Simple enough. Now it's time to link your smart devices app to your voice assistant of choice. In the case of both Google and Amazon, you add a device and choose a brand. Then you're brought to a sign in screen for you to link your smart devices account to your Alexa or Google home account. And voila, you can control your smart home accessories through your voice assistant. After that, your account is linked and new devices added through that brand's app will automatically be added to the, your voice assistant. Now, you have three options for controlling your smart devices. The most convenient way is through a voice assistant. You can say, Alexa, turn on my lights, or OK, Google, turn off the lights. But if you want more manual control, you can use a mobile app. One of your options is through that brand's app. For example, if you have a TP-Link smart plug, you would go to the CASA app to control it. This option may be cumbersome, especially if you have multiple smart products across multiple brands, because that means you have more apps to sift through. Alternatively, you can use the Alexa and Google Home apps, which provide convenient control to all of your smart devices. But there's one ecosystem missing, Apple's HomeKit. Like Alexa integration with the Amazon ecosystem and Google Assistant's integration with the Google ecosystem, HomeKit integrates your smart devices into your Apple ecosystem. It all starts with the Home app, which you can find on your iPhone, Apple Watch, Mac, iPad, and even your Apple TV. You can create houses and rooms to organize your devices. And unlike Alexa and Google, adding a device usually doesn't require you to install an app or skill. And since the Home app is integrated into your Apple devices, it makes accessing your smart devices simpler via Siri, Control Center, or the Home app. With that quick summary out of the way, let's take an in-depth look at the Home app through an iPhone. When opening the Home app for the first time, you will get a splash screen where you can skip by clicking continue. From there, you can see your home that was automatically set up. First, you will probably want to change your home settings. So, click the home icon at the top left and choose home settings. From this page, you can change its name, invite others to join, change your wallpaper, and add some notes. If you're managing smart devices across multiple buildings, you can create more than one home by tapping the Add Home button at the top. Before we start managing rooms, we need to add an accessory. First, make sure your smart device is compatible with HomeKit by checking the manual. After confirming you have a compatible device, tap on the plus in the top corner, then select Add Accessory. From the pop-up, you can scan the barcode found on your smart accessory or hold your iPhone near the accessory. If these options don't work, tap I don't have a code or cannot scan. This may bring up your accessory as it did for me. If your device still doesn't come up, tap My accessory isn't shown here. This will give you some troubleshooting tips. For me, I'm going to select my HomeKit compatible smart speaker, which is an Airport Express. After selecting the device, it's time to assign it to a room. Scroll through the list and choose a room that best fits its location. If your room isn't listed, you can select Create New Room from the bottom of the list and give your room a custom name. For my speaker, I'm asked to name the accessory. This name is how the device will be identified in the Home app. I'm going to keep it as is and continue. Now your accessory has been added to your home. You can add more accessories in the future by repeating these steps. With the accessory added, let's take a look at how to edit its settings. Click on the Home button, then select Edit Screen. Now notice that the accessories start wiggling, showing you you're in edit mode. Now select the accessory whose settings you want to manage. 
You can change its name, assign it to a different room, and manage other device-specific settings. When finished, click the X to close a pop-up. When your one accessory is added, you can start configuring your rooms. If you click on the home icon again, you will see room settings, an option that was previously missing. From the room settings pop-up, you can edit the room name, create zones, and change the wallpaper. To create a second room, tap add room, give it a name, customize the wallpaper, and click save. Once you have multiple rooms in your house, the rooms menu will replace the add room button. From this list, you can rearrange the order of your rooms as they appear and create new ones. Now let's click done and preview our home, rooms, and accessories. You can tap on the home tab to see all of your smart accessories, or you can tap on the rooms tab to see your accessories split off into your rooms. From there, you can swipe left and right to switch between your multiple rooms. With this, your HomeKit Home is ready to do your bidding. You can now use Siri to control your accessories or manually control them from the Home app. For quicker access, you can control your most used devices from Control Center. However, you may need to enable Show Home Controls in your iOS settings. By enabling Home in your iCloud settings, your accessories will then sync between all of your devices. And if you want to share control of your accessories, you can invite members by going into the home settings of the home app. As you can see, the home app is a great way to conveniently access and control your smart accessories through your Apple ecosystem, along with the added benefit of Apple's top-notch privacy policy. Unfortunately, many smart devices don't natively support HomeKit, but hope isn't lost yet. Stay tuned to next week's video where I will show you how to turn any generic smart tech device into a HomeKit device. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified of future videos. Also check out the links in the description for more on this topic. And if you're leaving with more questions and answers, you can drop those in the comments below. You can also find this post on our website appleguideweb.com in addition to the apple guide podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts and all those links are also in the description below once again thank you so much for watching and see you next week